Hey, this is YBR with Beeman G Drive, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about police car chases. Because when the traffic AI was first added to the game, I showed you that you could hit the spawn police button to spawn up traffic that includes police cars. When you use this button, only about 20 to 30% of the cars are police cars. The rest of them are normal vehicles doing normal vehicle driving. So that means in the end, it's not terribly difficult to avoid the police. And usually what ends up happening is I'll just get reckless and crash before the police can actually get me. Like through there, did I need to go in between the traffic? No, I could have went to the right side and had a nice clear path, but I thought it would be cooler if I went in between them. So that gave me a question. Can I make the police more difficult? And the answer is yes. Yes, you can. You can make the police much more difficult by adding just police cars. So every single vehicle on the road wants to murder you. It makes things much, much more difficult. So I'm gonna go ahead and let the police capture me so I can show you how you would set this up. Oh, I thought that dude was gonna hit me in the side. Ooh, can I fit? Oh, <laughs> that was a tight fit. Surprised it actually worked. All right, just push through traffic. I don't care anymore, crash into them. And the truck's pretty much dead at this point, so I'll let the police get me. And they'll say, you have been arrested. There you go, I've been busted. So what I need to do now is remove all of the ordinary police traffic. So we'll just go to traffic and hit remove traffic. We'll get myself a fresh truck, and then we're gonna hit F10 to go to the new map editor. We're gonna go up tools, and then we're gonna click the multi-vehicle spawner. And then we have this vehicle group where we can choose what kind of vehicle we wanna spawn up. So we're gonna spawn up six police cars from Europe. We'll increase the amount to six and hit spawn. And then we're gonna spawn up six police cars from the USA. That way there is a wide variety of police vehicles that'll be chasing us. So we hit F10 again to get out of the map editor. We're gonna hit escape to open up the main menu, go to AI. Then we're gonna go to traffic and we're gonna hit start traffic. This is important. You do not wanna hit spawn traffic. You just wanna hit start traffic. So now all of the traffic cars will be police cars. So the second you commit a crime, like I just did there, we will have 12 police cars all chasing after me at once, trying to murder me. And in a situation like this, I'm generally lucky to survive more than a few minutes before I get obliterated by a police car. Especially using this vehicle in this area because there are a lot of blind jumps just like this. And there's so many police cars that it's really difficult to actually land that in a way where you're not gonna smash into a police car almost instantly. I still have some drivability left, but not good steering at all. It's really only a matter of time before they take me down, but I'm not gonna give up quite yet. We've literally only been running away from them for like 45 seconds. I can at least survive a minute, right? That's actually gonna be pretty difficult the way this thing is steering. I'm trying to go to the left and I can just barely do it. Oh, it just lost traction or something. We can't go to the left anymore and hello police cars. But I think that was a minute or at least very close to a minute. So this truck, not the best vehicle for escaping from the police, as you can tell. So let's try this again with a vehicle that's better at escaping from the police. Now, I don't know about you guys, but for me, the first kind of car that comes to mind for escaping from the police is a classic muscle car. So we're going to be using the Kingsnake version of the Gravel Barstow, which, to be 100% honest, is not the ideal escape vehicle for me personally. It's just the most stereotypical one. Now, right now, none of the cops are after me because I have yet to commit a crime. It's time to commit a crime. I gotta do a very light crash though, one where it doesn't really damage my car and I can keep on driving, so just kinda bump that dude a little bit and that should be enough to get all the police in the world chasing after me. And it really does feel like it's every police car in the world because you have so many different cars trying to get you. And I really wanna try to do some high speed stuff. That means we need to try to find our way onto the highway, which might not be so easy because all the entrances are usually just one or two lanes wide, like this one right here. Not very wide at all. We just gotta get lucky with the way the traffic comes and try to squeeze on through. Oh, tight to the wall, and we made it onto the highway. And now we can do high speed avoidance. We're gonna be going easily over 100 miles per hour, and I got kinda lucky because everybody's coming from the left side. Oh wait, that's why they come from the left side. That's right, this is where the road ends. Of course they wouldn't be coming from here. We can go ahead and stop here and we'll see. Will they come after me or are they just gonna sit around and do nothing? And just planning ahead a little bit, 
we're probably going to use the Cherry of a Voss, get one of the really fast ones, and try that one out. Because that, to me, is an ideal escape vehicle, I would say. And it looks like they're not going to come after me. They're just going to wait for me. Oh, I got busted somehow. What? Oh, they're up there. <laughs> what is that idiot doing? He literally on top of another police car. What a fool. So they couldn't get to me, but they got me. If that makes any sense to you, because it doesn't make sense to me. So now that the police aren't chasing after me, we got to get them to chase after me again. We're on a highway. That's a good spot for a big speed crash. Going to be going at least 100 miles per hour. And we should just destroy whatever police car dares to get in my way. Who are you? How dare you get in my way? I'm going 120 miles per hour. So now the police will definitely be chasing after me. We just got to set my car to be the Chariot FCV. And we want the Vivas S. 410Q Arsenic. And this is probably my favorite vehicle to use for escaping from the police because it's really nimble. It has a lot of power, all wheel drive, and not that big of a wheelbase. So it's really, really good for trying to like swerve in between all these other cars and just barely avoid getting crashed into. My goal here is to drive the entire highway, mostly flooring it. If we need to slow down just a little bit here and there just to avoid the police, that's fine. But I want to be going really fast, and we are. We are going 165 miles per hour, 170 miles per hour on this highway, and we are going to be soon reaching the very, very end of it. And we made it decently easily through the police, but I will mention it now. It's a lot easier going through the police when they're all going the same direction as you. It's quite a bit harder when they're going the opposite direction of you. Because as you saw, they kind of clear out of your way a little bit, and if you're going fast enough, they don't have enough time to really set the blockade. Here, they're gonna be coming at you fast from every lane possible. There is no delay. They are lined up and ready to get you from the get-go. And then you also have guys who are going the wrong way still somehow, just to make things a little bit more confusing. So you really gotta change up where you are, I've noticed. If you stick to one side, the AI will figure that out and they will get you. I don't know how I survived that. They managed to just take off my rear bumper and I'm driving fine. It is a miracle. And that's the end of the highway again. So let's take the alternative path over here. Y'all ain't going to crash into me. I'm going to crash into me. That's actually a really nice crash. Though. We were moving, man. All the way into the water. Going to make a little splash down. In three, two, one, boom. Nice. Oh, we're going under the rock. What the? That's kind of strange. Anyways, let's go ahead and bring this guy back up to the surface streets and now let's do something different instead of trying to escape using a very nimble vehicle let's do the exact opposite let's try to escape using a big bulky vehicle that's not really good for this at all and apparently we are inside of the police we do not want that get ourselves teleported out and are they chasing me not quite yet and we can easily make them actually he might be chasing me just in case here's a little extra bump for you and now we are off my question is simple. Can I avoid them? And if I can't avoid them, can I plow through them? With the T-Series, I think we should be able to take a couple of hits, but it's by no means a battering ram. Although, we will be trying out the battering ram version soon, I promise you that. Right now though, just a regular old T-Series, and surprisingly, we have not had any issues yet. We're actually able to swerve between the traffic enough to not have to worry about them crashing into me, which is really surprising. I figured for sure they would be all over me, but we're pretty good. All right, we gotta change things up a little bit somehow then. Since they're not gonna hit me, I gotta hit them. I see a beautiful target right there. He's not moving much, so it's a great hit. And uh oh, that really ruined my truck. I am not driving well at all. Oh, hello other cars. Well, that sort of worked until it didn't. One impact and we were done for. All right, now let's try out the big one. We're going to do the T-75 Destroyer, and I don't think anybody can stop me now. Well, if they're stuck inside of me, they could probably stop me. Free my truck, and now we are off. Are they chasing me? It looks like it, and now they're definitely chasing me after I bumped him. And we should be able to go through basically infinite cops with this setup. It feels like using this truck hitting normal vehicles Nothing will stop you. You are unstoppable. To prove that point, we're going to hit as many vehicles as we possibly can. Even if it means trying to cross over the middle of the road, 
That could stop me, actually. Just crossing the road awkwardly. I'll try not to do that. Yep, we're going this way now. I kind of deflected in this direction. Are y'all trying to hide in the bushes? You think you can hide in the bushes, you fools? I see you. You can't hide from me. You can't hide either. You're not really good at hiding at all. You're just kind of sitting in the middle of the road, and so are you. And okay, you guys are doing a better job straight up attacking me. I like that. Oh, you know what? This would be a lot more fun, I bet, if we were going the opposite direction of traffic, because then they would hit me much harder and they would fly off more. Right now, we're kind of going the same direction as traffic, so I think the impacts won't be as explosive in this direction. We'll do a couple and make sure that's the case. I see a beautiful target right up there. And, yeah, he's not even moving, so I might be going 40 miles per hour, but them going zero, it means they're not going to fly that far. Yeah, it's kind of like a boop, and now they're stuck on me. That guy got flown pretty good because he was coming the opposite direction. That guy would have got flown if I could have got lined up in time. So let's go ahead and try this again. And this time, we'll make sure we don't accidentally go down a one-way road. Or if we do go down a one-way road, we'll go in the wrong direction for maximum damage and chaos. Although nobody's coming. They're driving on the wrong side of the road. You fools. I'm the one who drives on the wrong side of the road. All right, let's just smash into these dudes. They're right there sitting ducks. Oh, that was a beautiful triple car crash. This road's probably good because you have cars coming in both directions. So you get a variety of big hits and medium hits. Here's a big hit. Yeah. See, that's why you got to do it when they're coming in the opposite direction because they can fly that way. That's beautiful. Definitely worth it doing it this way and not the other way at all. That dude messed me up. I had some perfect impacts coming. We got more. We always got more perfect impacts with this thing. Here's another great one. Well, we got a little stuck on my roof, it looked like. That's a nice one. I love it when they fly up and over. Like, that is the perfect hit, as far as I'm concerned, is when they actually fly over you and you just keep on trucking. When they get a little stuck on you, those are okay. When they get deflected off the edge, those are pretty good, too. But those ones where they fly, those are the best. Come on, fly. Nah, not quite. I got to go a little bit faster myself. Then we can get him to fly. 50 miles per hour. Car coming straight at me. We got a flight. Yeah, there. Oh, that bull I took off. We're still moving pretty good. Let some fly. Yep. This is actually a really nice road. We got tons of cars coming at me. And they got no place to hide. They can't run. They can't hide. They're just going to get wrecked. Oh, we might want to slow down a little bit for this corner. Dive in. Hold on. Oh, that was actually pretty clean. Perfect hit. Yes. Man, the bull lights really like to fly for some reason. The other cars, they play all right. But the bull lights, they take off into the sky for some reason. I don't know why they do that. And by the way, you might have noticed, we are making our way to the racetrack because I want to answer the question. What happens if you try to race around a racetrack with a bunch of police cars chasing you? And I like the fact here, they're driving around the little out across track even though they totally don't have to because this is literally a parking lot with some roads that have been drawn on it they don't need to follow those roads but they are good police officers who will do just that now before we change over to a race car we got this beautiful downhill we got the police coming at me let's have a beautiful wrecking finish here oh that was nice that was a bunch of cars all in a row we really couldn't ask for much better than that we still got some momentum so if we wanted to we could keep on plowing yeah, actually, we lost most of the momentum, didn't we? So now we got to figure out what car do we want to use? Now, I was thinking about this as we drove. Oh, I almost caught that guy. So the car I want to use in this situation is going to be a customized one. We're going to be using the Tograk Rally. I'm using the Rally version here because I have a feeling I'm going to have to go in the dirt. What was that? Like some piece of my vehicle just fell off and I don't know what that was. Hold on a second. Let me take a peek here. Oh, that's pieces of the police cars I was wrecking. They were probably just stuck on the truck when I reset it, and then they were stuck on this car. Okay. And now the police are no longer chasing me because apparently I've been busted. That's what you think, pal. Ugh, get some. Wow, that didn't look like that big of a crash, but I can definitely feel it. I do not want to be driving with the car pulling like that, especially with all this traffic. I want a nice, fresh one that'll hopefully be okay. And I forgot, yeah, this thing does stoppies. <laughs> that makes deceleration a little bit weird sometimes. If you know how to use it, though, I'm sure you can be perfectly fine with the stoppies because I actually feel like I'm not losing control when I'm doing the stoppies. It's just breaking super hard and it's dipping super crazy. So we got cars in every which direction. Some are coming my way. Some are trying to block me. 
Others are driving with me. They just doing whatever the heck they feel like. It is complete chaos through here, but it is working surprisingly well. I have not crashed into them yet, but we have had some very close encounters. Through here, we have a big straightaway. Not great for the tow rack because it tops out at like 130. Yeah, we're topped out, which is perfectly fine for the rally version because it's not usually going to go much faster than that. But I took it to a racetrack, so not the perfect spot for this car. How about this? What happens if we try to do a drag race while the police are chasing me? I, I have literally no clue what's going to happen here. This should be really, really interesting. Oh, that guy came out of nowhere. I barely dodged him. Here's the racing for the drag race. Let's just find a car to smash. Oh, I missed him. You lucky celery stick. If you were any closer, I would have definitely hit you. Well, we don't need this guy anymore. What we need is a car built for drag racing. So we're going to go with the drag version of the Blue Buck. Should be a really nice car to use here. And then we got to get lined up for the drag race somehow. Yeah, this thing is a bad training radius. This is going to take a second as we go forward and back and forward and back and slowly break it apart. There we go. Oh, where'd it go? Come on, text. Appear for me. Oh, wait, actually, you know what? I think we're supposed to be on the flag. That's how you know where to start the drag race from. Yeah, there we go. I have no idea if he can even get to the drag strip because... Oh, <laughs> I thought maybe the AI would block him. No, the AI is just annihilating him. They are attacking this dude. The camera doesn't even know what to do. You know what? They have broken him. What happened to my car? Is my car okay? Yeah, they're just kind of ignoring me now. I could just go on a drag race. They're not chasing me. Weird. Maybe they arrested me while I was waiting. So we'll fling them about and see if that gets them chasing me now. And I see them moving, but they're not going after me. They're going after the other drag car, I think. I have completely broken things here. Well, that's unfortunate, but it was a lot of fun just having something really unexpected like that happening. Yeah, there's no AI even spawning here. They are not focused on my car. They are focused on the other drag car. Everything is completely ruined. So let's have a fun finish. We can go really, really fast. So let's do a really, really fast crash into the cops. And hopefully it'll cause some serious damage. Also, it's still telling me that I'm getting busted up there. I'm assuming they're busting the other drag car. Yeah, it's, it's messed up, man. I broke things. So here we go. Big crash, almost 200 miles per hour. And boom. Wasn't actually that big. Just one single crash. But that guy is spinning, man. We got slow-mo and he's spinning fast. Oh, he's really spinning. Oh, I hope you can see that. That guy was spinning. He's still spinning. He is the master of the spin. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. Till next time, this is YBR. And remember, if you like or dislike this video, I'll know. I can tell by when the cops arrest me. So do the right thing, and I'll see you next time. Also, there's another video I want to make that's very similar to this one. Well, with a couple of small differences that make it feel completely different. Hopefully you guys will enjoy that one too whenever it comes out. Also, I noticed in editing, when I spawned up the drag car, the audio for the game cut out. So I just do some random cop sounds from earlier in the video there. <laughs>